Hello there. You know, something that clients will bring to me in the therapy room is that they struggle to manage their emotions. I think we all have times in our life where we react to something and then later we look back and think, oh gosh, I regret that. I wish I hadn't done that or I wish I hadn't said that. I know I've done this. So I'm guessing that maybe you have as well. Sometimes this is something that happens a lot for people and they just wish that they could manage those emotions better so that they could have better outcome to situations instead of always overreacting and, and feeling bad about it. So if that's you, or maybe you know somebody that this video, these tips would be helpful for, this is what I'm talking about today. What we tend to do is we tend to try and manage our emotions in the stressful moment. So we think, oh, I wish I could just, you know, not get upset and just pause and just, you know, just, you know, change course correct, as it were, and just be calm and, and respond very well rather than reacting. But of course, in the moment when you're upset, I'm sure that you'll relate to this feeling, you know, it kind of rushes up in your system, doesn't it? It's like one minute you'll find somebody says something or something happens, it triggers you and you get this rush of energy comes up in your system. So that's not the time to be trying to manage emotions. And that's why so often people struggle because they're trying to do it then. The time to get good at managing your emotions is the rest of the time the calm times, the normal everyday times. What I suggest you do is you check in with yourself several times a day for several days, a couple of weeks is, is usually a good length of time to practice this. Check in with yourself and say, what am I feeling right now? And you can even set an alarm on your phone or something to remind you, what am I feeling right now? And maybe you'll know, maybe you'll say, I feel, oh, I feel a bit tired. I feel a bit stressed. I feel a bit joyful. I feel excited. I feel, it could be a good feeling, a bad feeling, or it may be, I don't know what I'm feeling. That's frustrating. So you're feeling frustrated or you're feeling confused. There'll always be some answer to that, even if it's, I don't know. And then the thing to do is if you don't find it easy to recognize your feelings, and, and sometimes people don't, what am I feeling in my body right now? People use the word feelings and emotions interchangeably. Different psychologists describe them in different ways. I like to think of emotions as being the sensation that we feel in our body and the feeling as the interpretation that we have in our head about that emotion. Let me give you an example. If you are feeling angry and your stomach is churning, that's the emotion. When you recognize that that energy and that sort of stuckness and that churning is happening in your body and you say, I feel angry, that's the feeling. So feelings and emotions kind of go hand in hand. And if you struggle with feelings and recognizing and labeling feelings, just listen and tune into your body. You might just always say, I feel tense and you don't know what else to call it, but it's still something. I feel tense. I'm aware of tension in my body. I feel tense. It's a good start. And actually, it doesn't matter what you label a feeling. One person might say they feel sad. Another person might call that resentment. Another person might call that anger. It, it's your, they're your feelings and your labels of feelings. But it's a good idea to just get used to doing that, to, to have that kind of language in your mind, the feeling and emotion language. What am I feeling right now? Where do I feel that in my body? And by doing that several times a day and getting into the habit of it, you become so good at managing your feelings and understanding your feelings that when something does happen and somebody does trigger you or some situation triggers you, you'll find it much easier to recognize what's going on and take that breath and be able to pause and be able to respond in ways that are better and that have a better outcome and are easier for your relationships because now you're the master of your emotions and your feelings. They're not the master of you. 
So I hope you, you find this video and this tip helpful. Do put that into practice if you think it would be a good idea or share with somebody who you'd like to help. Click the thumbs up like button because it means more people get to see this video and that means you're helping me to help them. And do hit subscribe and that way you'll know when I've got more videos coming up. I'd love to know your experiences of managing emotions and reactions and responding and being feeling calm and feeling stressed and, and all that stuff. So do leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about what I've been saying here today and what your experiences are. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.